We're going to do a calibration on a P-Series dual set point pressure switch. The P-Series is an explosion proof pressure switch with a dual chamber design. The micro switch with the wires are located in the top electrical compartment and the adjustment mechanism is below under the cover. This switch can be adjusted while in a hazardous environment while the electrical connection and power is applied. We're going to need to connect the wires of the light box to the micro switch. We do that by taking the cover off the switch. We have two micro switches. The one on the left is the A switch. The one on the right is the B switch. We're going to connect the white wire, which is the common, to the bottom contact. We're going to connect the blue wire, which is the normally open, to the center contact. We're going to connect the red wire, which is the normally closed, to the top contact. We're going to do that for both micro switches. The B side adjuster is for the B side micro switch, and that side is always going to be set higher than the A side. Set points for the switch can be either increasing or decreasing on either the A or the B side. You have to be 3% of range apart in set points between the B and the A. However, the B has to be the higher of the two set points. The first step of calibration is to exercise the switch three times. To exercise the switch, we start at zero and go to full scale. Full scale for the switch is 100 PSI. So we go up to 100 PSI. And then we go back to zero. We would repeat this three more times. We're gonna use our set point scales to preset the set points we're going to set for 80 PSI increasing on the B side and 20 PSI decreasing on the A side. So what I'm going to do is adjust the B side scale to be above 80 PSI and the A side to be below 20 PSI. So I'm going to turn the adjustment knob with my screwdriver in the clockwise direction, which will increase the set point and bring the set point above 80. On the A side, I'm going to lower my set point. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. And this will make it below 20. This will give us a starting point so that we can set our set points. The first set point we're going to set is the 80, the higher set point. So we're going to bring our pressure up to 80 PSI. and the B side has not turned on. We're now going to adjust the B side. We're going to turn it counterclockwise to lower the set point until it turns on. That will be the red light turning green. It just turned on. Now we're going to go to the 20 PSI and adjust the switch to turn off. We're now at 20 PSI on the A side. We're going to adjust the switch by increasing the set point until it turns off. The green light will turn red. It just turned red. Now we have an approximate set point and we will need to measure that. We're going to start by taking the pressure to zero. and then up to 80 PSI. We're gonna move slowly as we approach 80 PSI to get the actual set point. And it is set at 80 PSI. Now we're going to go check the lower set point, the B side, to see that it's close.
The B side is very close at 20 PSI. This is good. I think we're set with intolerance. We need to now go and actually repeat this and measure the dead bands. So to repeat the measurement, we take the pressure to zero. And then we go up to 80 PSI, or just before 80 PSI, and measure the turn on point of the B switch. It is exactly 80 PSI, and now we're gonna measure the reset point of that switch by slowly decreasing the pressure until the B switch turns off, the red light turns back on. That's approximately five PSI, it's at 75 PSI. That would be a dead band of five. Now we're gonna go down to the 20 PSI set point, the decreasing set point. Get close, and we'll move it slowly. We're at 20. Now we're gonna increase it to measure the set point of the A switch. It's approximately 23. So the A side has a dead band of 23 and the B side had a dead band of five. We would now go back to zero and repeat this measurement three times for accuracy. For set points on vacuum range switches, it is best to think of the set point as a negative pressure. So an increasing vacuum set point is a decreasing pressure set point, and a decreasing vacuum set point is an increasing pressure set point.